Welcome back to CUTV News Center. I'm Santina Murin with your entertainment report. After watching the Mercedes-Benz New York Fashion Week, reporter Haley Ataro and I talked about some of our favorite trends. With over 300 plus designers showcasing their collections in this year's New York Fashion Week, we decided to show our favorite looks from the designer's spring 2014 lines. The designer Ralph Lauren shows off a lot of simply styled dresses but with a bold pop of color. The vibrant green, yellow, and orange really showcases the trends to expect for spring 2014. The 2014 Distiguel collection focused mostly on big and bold statement patterns. The designer chose to stay simpler in terms of color, staying mostly with black and white in her designs. Stripes, big floral prints, and scribble designs shown here are just some of the dramatic prints Distiguel used to catch the eye. These crazy patterns are definitely something to look forward to this spring. Fashion Law Institute offers an opportunity to look great with little effort. The less is more style look is just taking a solid color like a black dress and adding color to it. The designer suggested adding the pop of color through adding either a giant necklace or an arm's worth of bracelets. With only her fourth year participating in New York Fashion Week, Rachel Zoe showed a softer and simpler side in her 2014 spring collection. Zoe showed lots of clothing designed for both the runway as well as out on the streets. Her white sequin garments shown here combines elegancy with a touch of fun. This year's Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week was all about standing out. We love the idea of bold colors, prints, and jewelry to really make an outfit pop. Not to mention adding sequins to spice up any outfit. We can't wait for spring to try out all these trends. That's all we have for this week's segment of Fashion Talk. See you next time. There's so much to do on campus, but have you ever considered Greek life? CUTV reporter Danny Ryan has more on how you can go Greek. New to campus? Been around campus? Have you seen all those funky letters? Sorority, fraternity? What is it all? I don't know. It's all Greek to me. So let's find out. Once you choose one of the 13 sororities and fraternities, you go through the process of pledging. I joined Phi Sigma Sigma when I was a sophomore in my spring semester, so that was 2012. Um, I had a lot of fun when I was going through my processes and everything. It was very wonderful. Um, I made wonderful friends, lifetime friends in the process, and it's bettered me as a person too. Awesome. A lot of tests, a lot of researching our history and being able to know that knowledge on the spot and really knowing what Phi Gamma Delta stands for and really knowing why the one reason you wanted to pledge. Not all people choose the Greek life for the same reasons. It's an odd um, story. I went to a recruitment party for a favor as a friend. She just said, you should stop by and I asked, will there be free food? She said yes. And I went and I loved it. Like I didn't, I'm not the type, people say, I'm not the type to join Greek life, which is why everyone was so surprised. I was surprised. I walked in, I saw a bunch of girls that were like so cool, so inviting. So I just decided, you know, to stick around. So I don't, I don't particularly have a reason why I chose Greek life. Um, I didn't choose Greek life, Greek life chose me. Pledging, partying, lifetime friends. Sounds good to me. So if you're out on campus, look for those Greek letters. Find out when the next party or mixer is. Who knows, maybe the Greek life might choose you. From CU TV News Center, this is Danny Ryan. Speaking of Greek life, if you're at all interested in getting involved in being in a sorority or fraternity, make sure to keep an eye out for when they're having recruitment parties. Check out each sorority or fraternity to get to meet as many people as you can to really get a feel for who you truly click with. Act fast because bid day is right around the corner on September 27th. Also, don't forget, Alpha Chi Rho is hosting the Crow Jam this Saturday from 12 to 8 p.m. On Tuesday, September 24th, is Cal U's Voter Registration Day, where you can register from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. There will be an open mic available for all students, faculty, and staff who want to voice their opinions on the importance of voting. Make sure to register because all Pennsylvanians must be registered by October 7th to be eligible to vote in the municipal elections this November. If you have any questions or concerns in regards to our university, come to the Performance Center in the Natale Student Center at 11 a.m. on Thursday, September 26. President Jones wants to hear what you have to say as well as talk about the future plans for our university. This event is open to all students, faculty, and staff. 
This week in the Vulcan Theater is Man of Steel. As a young boy, Clark realizes he has powers that are, are not of this earth. Awful. Discover who he is and what his purpose of life is. As a result, Clark finds the world to be defenseless and his only option is to take over and assume the identity of Superman to save mankind. That's what this symbol means. So as far as the new fashion trends and everything, I definitely really like the solid color idea with like a black dress or something and then adding a pop of color with vibrant necklaces or bracelets. I'm obsessed with jewelry. I'm obsessed with vi vibrant colors and I'm obsessed with wearing black so it kind of fits everything I like. I, what do you guys like? I truly can't pick. I just liked all of them. Like I love the colors. I love the simple black. I love the sequence. I just I can't decide. I think they're all they're all spectacular. Like I'd probably wear them all every day of the week. <laughs> I actually really liked the lines were pretty simple and them. they make them seem more realistic and like more people that can afford them can actually wear them instead of some of the outlandish out like styles that they've had before so I really liked how they were simple and classic and they looked like they would look good on everybody I agree all right well thank you Santina stay tuned when we return Creighton Raps has your sports report <laughs> 